Pre-orders for the upcoming Oculus Rift have finally gone live and now we have an idea of not only when the VR device is coming out, but how much it's going to cost. According to the pre-order page, which I will link in the description below, the headset will be released in March and brace yourself, it will run you $599. And in the UK, it will run you £499 or €699, Euros, which is an absolutely staggeringly high price. Before we get on to my discussion of that, however, let's go on to what else you get in the package. It will get you a pre basically a spot to pre-order the touch controller, which of course was recently delayed until the second half of 2016. It also come with the Oculus Remote, the cables, an Xbox One controller, and a sensor. It will naturally ship with an adapter, so the Xbox One controller can be used with Windows 10. And of course, as we all know, we'll have the ability to stream Xbox One games to the headset. Games-wise, it will come with Eve Valkyrie through the Founders Pack and Playful's game Lucky's Tale. And by the end of this year, 100 titles will be made available, including Minecraft, and there will be 20 games exclusive to the headset by the end of 2016. Now, we all know the specs, they were announced some time ago, but just to reiterate, you need a NVIDIA GTX 970 or AMD R9290. CPU-wise, you need an Intel i5-4590, 8GB plus of RAM, a compatible HDMI 1.3 video output, three USB ports plus sorry, three USB 3 ports plus one USB 2 port, and of course Windows 7 SP1 64-bit or newer. And they do have a compatibility tool on their website, which again I will link in the description below to basically see if you meet the recommended specs. Click in the link by the way, we'll auto-download the tool so don't panic. As well, there are some pretty pricey bundles available for pre-order starting next month, which will include an Oculus Ready PC and Rift starting at $1,400 a night, what's up? Basically $1,500, And then anyone who pre-orders the headset today will be able to order an Oculus Ready PC at the special bundle price without the ship date of the Rift changing. Now you may remember at the start of the video I mentioned a release date of March. Do not take that as gospel as it does seem to be very much in flux as the ship date for it was first of all listed as March but then upon refreshing the page the estimated ship date was April and then a further refresh noted a shipping change to May. And there have been reports that the day one stock has already sold out so yeah if you want to buy it good luck get in line basically. Now, I will admit, I expressed concerns months ago that they have to get the pricing right for Oculus. Whether or not they've got it right is going to be very subjective. Whether or not you can afford it is, of course, very subjective to you. But I've got a feeling that £500 or €700 Euros or $600 is going to be too much for some people. And I wouldn't blame anybody who says, do you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to get this when it drops down in price. I would not blame anyone who says that because that is a lot of money. That is more expensive than a console. And of course, not many people are going to be getting a PC just for the Rift. That's, eh, I mean, maybe some people undoubtedly will, but I doubt many people are going to do that. At best, for a lot of cases, you're going to get people who are upgrading their CPU or their graphics card or maybe their RAM or getting a hub or something to accommodate the amount of USBs you need. Is but even if you say you get a GPU or a processor, that's still two to three hundred pounds depending on what you're upgrading to. And then of course you've got the cost of the device itself. But even if you say you already have a PC that can handle the Rift, that's still a lot of money that's way more than you would have paid for the PS4 or Xbox One at launch. And of course it's way more than you'd pay for it now. And I think that's just going to be too much for some people and it's definitely going to be VR and gaming enthusiasts and obviously people who are maybe a bit older, a bit more, you know, expendable income who will be getting this when it first comes out. Obviously it's, it's insanely popular, I'm not going to say it's not going to sell well at first because obviously it is, it's already sold out of day one stock but I just feel like some a lot of people are going to wait and people who are outside of gaming are not going to turn to gaming because of this because it's the price is going to be way too high. Now, I'm not exactly shocked, shall we say, at the pro that it's expensive. I kind of expected it to be. I just didn't expect it to be this expensive. I'm going to be honest, I kind of thought maybe 350 to £400, pounds, rather than 500 But obviously, I was wrong. 
So uh, yeah, a bit of an ouch. Do let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time.